After Yunus defeated Kaplan to reach the 3A title game, head coach Paul Trosclair described the run his team was on as Bobcat Magic. Besides, this team was ahead of schedule with close to a third of their starters as sophomores, and last night Yunus had the final trick up their sleeve. Sterlington and Yunus was locked in an absolutely wild when both teams opened the game with kickoff returns. 14-7 Panthers here in the first. Jewel Hill on the sweep. He swung out of bounds inside the 10, and that would set up this. Simeon Ardwin getting lost in the shuffle, but he finds his way to pay dirt. It's 14 all in the dome. Now, Sterlington goes to the air to respond. Hayes Crockett is going to drop back to pass. It's intercepted. No, Javondre Edwards looks like he had an interception there, but instead it's ruled the completion. Dallas Rager takes the pitch a few plays later and is in for the score. Sterlington up 20 to 13, but here comes Eunice Ardwam on the QB sneak is going to find a way to break the plane. The referee coming down the line to confirm it, but Eunice trailed 34 to 26 at the break. Second half, a broken play. Avery Lee is going to roll, but pass it to Tyler Darbone for the touchdown, the missed PAT makes it 34 to 32. And then later, I believe this is what they actually were trying to run. The running back pass, they say, hey, if we didn't get it the first time the right way, how about we try it again? Lead to Darbone again for the touchdown, 39-34, Eunice now leading. Now, Eunice offense scored 31 points in the second half. Lee was named the MVP and he finds his way into the end zone again. And the magic is real. They win 59 to 47. Andrew Clay has more from a special night. Party like it's 1998. It's been 20 years since Eunice was in a state football championship, but you gotta flip the calendar back a few more times to find their last state championship back in 1982. That was once the only game that sat in the state championship win column until now. I didn't think I'd ever get this opportunity again. You know, we played 97, 98, we played John Curtis, and uh, we had some close losses in the playoffs over the years, and I knew my career was winding down. And when we started this season, we, we had six or seven sophomores playing. There's no way you're supposed to do what we did. But you know, we talk, coaches talk about mental toughness. I feel like talk is cheap. You have to live it, and that's what I've tried to do. So, you know, I've been through a lot, but I love being around these, these guys, and they make me feel so much better. Yeah, I mean, it's really hard to describe it. I mean, just all the support they were getting from Eunice and all the alumni that come in from around the country just to come watch us play. It was, it's like he said, amazing. Friday night in the Dome was all about one thing. Offense, Eunice and Sterlington combining for 106 points. The game before them, STM and University High, 101. Reporting in the Superdome, Andrew Clay, KTC Sports.